You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Nike ACG Torre Mid. These are the Nike ACG Torre Mid. And if you're familiar with our channel, you know we love Nike's all conditions gear line over here. We've reviewed a bunch of episodes in the past. Make sure you check those out after you're done watching this one. And this specific shoe has been on my radar for a couple months now. So let's go ahead and dive into the details. The upper is this waterproof upper, which consists of shaggy suede and this canvas-like material, but Nike's calling it durable textiles. Right here at the tongue, you can see that durable textile padded tongue, and they do feature a shaggy suede overlay with a red plum Nike accent at the top. They come with these yellow and brown laces, and you do have these plastic eyelets at the top. Taking us down to the toe box, you do have more of that durable textile material, as well as that shaggy suede overlay. For the side panel and the quarter panel, you have more of those durable textiles in that olive gray and you have those shaggy suede overlays in that pecan colorway. You do have a black embroidered Nike swoosh on the quarter panel, and then on the lower corner towards the rear of the shoe, you do have that classic All Conditions Gear logo in red, plum, and black. Taking this to the back of the shoe, you do have more of those durable textile and shaggy suede overlays, and you do have this cool black nylon pull tab with a 90s print on it. For the midsole, they feature an updated foam material to provide optimal comfort. Taking us to the outsole, you do have this deep tread for optimal traction when you're out on the trails. And this outsole is made up of recycled rubber, part of Nike's Regrind initiative, where they take recycled shoes and repurpose them. For those of you who might not know, the Nike ACG Torre originally released back in 1995. They were designed for hiking for both men and women. And Nike ACG was in their bag back then. They produced a lot of our favorites, like the Moabs and the Air River Dirties. But as far as boots go, they made some classic boots like the Lava Domes and the Magmas and the ACG Torre as well. The only major difference that I could spot from the originals to the retros is that the original had a bigger swoosh on the quarter panel that wasn't embroidered on like these. It was more of a standalone piece that was stitched on. 28 years later, they get their first retro in 2023 with newer colors dropping in 2024. And this is just a classic 90s silhouette. Looks like the Mob Deep Infamous crew would be wearing these or Tupac and Juice. It's a really good 90s hip hop looking boot. That's why I gravitated towards it. It looks like something that I would wear back then and it's definitely something that I'm gonna wear now. These released in December of 2023 at a price point of $150. Fortunately, I was lucky to catch these on sale for 40% off. And if you're patient enough, you wanna wait it out, I can see these even going on a deeper discount. But if you wanna get these right now, or you got a fit in mind that you're trying to get off, or you need these to embrace the water, the rain elements, then $150 for a boot isn't bad, and there's still a lot of value there. As far as comfort and sizing goes, I went up a half size as it did fit me best. They do run a little bit narrow, so if you have wider feet, I suggest going up a half size. As far as comfort goes, it's a boot and it feels like a boot, but it's not that heavy. The materials that they use for the upper makes it still pretty lightweight. And they do have this foam here, which you can feel, but it's not the most comfortable compared to like some of the other shoes you might be wearing, Air Maxes, Vomeros, things of that nature, but they're not uncomfortable. As far as style goes, I'll just reiterate what I said earlier. Very 90s looking shoe. I love the color blocking. I love the red plum and the yellow laces with the brown hits. And it's just a good looking silhouette that you can wear with baggy jeans or you can wear it with some tech shorts in the summer. And you can take these outdoors or you can wear it for the cityscapes and it's gonna do the job. But how do you guys feel about the Nike ACG Torre? Is it something you're meaning to pick up? Do you love them as much as we do? Do you prefer the other ACG models? Let us know which ones are your favorite. We'd love to hear from you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. We appreciate all the support. Let's go ahead and try these on. I never asked to be put on. No. I went and got it on my own. That's for sure, dog. Might put up on ATVs. Then hit the trailing ACGs, cause we outside. Never asked to be put on. No. I went and got it on my own. That's for sure, dog. Might pull up on ATVs Then hit the trailing ACGs Cause we outside Ready for all conditions 
I'm outside with it. I might go fishing, no, I do not hold feelings. I go off road if the road missing. You know that the flow different. Shooting shots while all these hoes go tending. I might go swimming if the girls are skinny dipping. I'm not balling on them, but I am not penny pinching. If you enjoyed this review on the Nike ACG Torre Mid, then check out all our other ACG reviews. We got a bunch for you guys to enjoy. We have new episodes on the way, so hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, do yourself a favor, and we'll catch you on the next episode.